about 1,400 nominations were filed to contest various positions at the polling station level after confusion greeted the picking of forms at the Mencia North constituency. The election committee, however, disqualified some aspirants, but aggrieved party members say it was an attempt to prevent the nominees from contesting. We are telling the party leadership that if they do, they do not sit down with the elections committee to tell them plainly that they are doing injustice to the people of Mejanov and they should bring them to justice, they should tell them to follow the rules and regulations governing the new Pachotti party and the rules and regulations as issued by the International Council regarding the police elections. If they do not stop them from conducting separate and be a top elections in Mejano, we are going to mass up tomorrow at the various police stations. The deployment of joint police and military officers to the constituency did not stop aggrieved party members from disrupting the elections which were to be held in 11 out of the 137 polling stations. Why are they perpetuating injustice on the people? Why are they doing this? So many issues have been raised. But let me call on the leadership of the party to step in. Because we will continue to resist any useless and evil machination yes. 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 as far as this yes. election is concerned. Yes. Yes. And we are prepared. Yes. Yes. We are ever prepared. Yes. Even though it will cost our life, yes. we will ensure justice yes. to the people of Messiano. Yes. And I will lead the crusade. In the Kwadasu constituency, some aggrieved party members also warned they will resist attempts to bend the rules set out by the party to conduct the elections. As the General Secretary of the party rightly said, don't disqualify anyone. Let every member of the party who pick a nomination form and return same be given the be given the same chance to contest. If they lose, they know they contested and lose. Yes. But when you unduly disqualify them, then you are making the party unpopular. And that will thwart our effort of breaking the eight to consolidate the gains made so far. Anything short of allowing everybody to contest fairly will be fiercely resisted through any legal means available to us. Yes. Looking at what happened before 2020 election, and the results just thereafter. It is surprising that any loyal party member with the right intention for the party will want to take the same path that lead us to a current situation where an opposition party member is now the speaker of a parliament we claim to be a majority controllers. Chaos and disagreement have so far characterized the process in some constituencies in the Ashanti region.